Hello traders, Gary Wagner here, just about 1040 in Honolulu, 340 in New York. It is Thursday, 11th day of February, 2016, and this is the Daily Report for Gold and Silver. And what a day we are witnessing in the market. Market up in double digits. Yes, double digits. Currently trading up about $45 on the day, trading at 1242 and change. It opened at 1197. The low is 1196, so that must have occurred right uh, as the market opened today. The high, though, the high is just phenomenal when you consider it's traded as high as 1263 on the day, which puts it up 60 plus dollars. Now, of course, we are long from uh, 1017, so we've got considerable profits in the market. I did send out a special trade alert earlier this morning in which I am recommending that you move your stops from it was sitting, I believe, at around 75, 1175 to where it is currently at, which is just below 1230. And we got in at 1117, not 1017. So silver is also showing a nice gain on the day, up almost 3% at 1570. But here's the key, as you can see, it's currently trading up 2.89%. When you compare that, uh, to the rise in gold, which is currently up almost 4%, almost double what we're seeing in silver, you can see that one of the primary reasons for putting all of our eggs in the gold egg basket, so to speak, rather than splitting it up between gold and silver, is it was my sense that if we saw a rally, which I believed we would, we would see gold outperform silver. So traders, this is the particular chart that I sent out with today's special trade alert to trail our stop under 1230. And I wanted to spend a couple of moments and give you my rationale behind that. One thing that you've probably realized is we have moved our FIB retracement up with our starting point to 1300. Of course, it's based upon these tops. And the reason being is we have clearly, clearly taken out the, the prior tops that were sitting here roughly at 1235. Oddly enough, when we had this as our top marker, that is where we were pegging some resistance at. And when we add into the mix, the 1300 high point, meaning moving our fib retracement up you can see that the number 1235 comes in so it is a pretty important number one of the things that you'll find is that many of these tops will occur at critical fib levels it's just how it works now the market's well off the tops you can or off the highs excuse me you can absolutely see that will we get some backfill well we easily could we'll look at our longer term studies in a second but we absolutely could but consider this we entered this market roughly at around, call it uh, 1221 was our second. The first entry was really at 1111, which was right following this top here. So we have really profited substantially from this market, catching a trade. It's really the best trade that we've had this year, but it's really in terms of profit on a single trade in a single contract we haven't seen this kind of a, a profit since 2009 2010 why because the market hadn't really given us that opportunity at least on the upside that was now with that in mind as i said I highly recommend that you move your stops to below 1230. And the reason I want to keep it a little bit looser, so if it does go into this area a little bit, we still can maintain our long position. However, if we do see the market backtrack and stop us out, we're getting stopped out with a considerable profit. We've already pulled profit on our first leg. We had two legs. We entered our first leg, of course, at roughly 11.17 when you averaged out. Well, actually, it was 11.11 and 11.17, so about 11.14 was the first. The second one, the second leg that we got in was roughly at 1121 and let me give you an idea of course you have it but another chart that will clearly illustrate why we made the play in the first place so traders this is actually one of the charts that we have been utilizing for quite some time i've got a 28 cycle moving average i'm trying to correspond to a 200 day moving average we can clearly see that we broke out above that that was our 
first real indication uh, that we could be in line for some type of extended rally. We also noted the fact that we had the market, although trading under tremendous pressure to about 1045, if you recall from this would be three or four months ago, I had forecast a low of 1037, so I wasn't that far off. So we had an idea that if we were going to find any kind of a, a model that would exist on a bullish uh, basis, this was kind of the area we had to stop at. We couldn't keep seeing more damage since the sell-off at 1920. Also, this particular chart looks at this major uh, extension or top that we had at 1920, this historical top, I should say, as a major uh, fifth in terms of an Elliott wave, and therefore, from there extrapolated that this correction and bear market that we have been in in gold was really an A wave, an ABC type of correction on our major count. From there, and this, of course, originally came from the work of a gentleman by the name of Deneric, and I have since adopted that because I think that it's a very valid, valid count. But since then, we've basically seen a wave one, a wave two, and a wave three. From there, we go into a double compression triangle to complete this wave. So this would give us wave four here. Of course, behind each of these is a sub count. And here we actually put in the sub count. And on the sub count, this would be the conclusion of a major A and intermediate five, one, two, three, four here, and then a sub count five. And we'll go through all of that now. So we've got our intermediate four. Then we go into our sub count one, two, three, four. I believe it concluded here when we hit these lows. And therefore, we had the conclusion of a major A wave, a intermediate fifth, and a sub count or a minor fifth here. That really told us that we could be in store for something big, but we weren't sure if it was here, if we'd see one more dip down. However, once the market really genuinely traded through this longer term moving average, it told us that we could be in store for something quite different. We could actually go back into somewhat of a bull run. And then this was really the deciding factor because if you see where this kind of intersects, it intersects at our entry price because that is really the final kind of straw that led me to believe that there would be a high probability that we would break out and break out substantially to the upside because it would take us into our B wave. And our B wave, of course, is going to be a long and protracted wave. We talked about this over the last couple of days, and that is that I'm not looking for the move that I'm looking for which is a move to roughly 1450 to happen overnight. Rather, it is something that will occur over the next year to year and a half. Stay tuned. We're in line for more good trades. I feel really, really good about our current trade. As I said, move your stop up, maintain your current long position. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We'll talk to you tomorrow for the weekly wrap up and review. Bye-bye. <music>